What's up, guys? Welcome to EA Sports UFC 4. It's your boy Panda, and today we're doing the ground tutorial. First thing I want to talk to you about is going to settings, go to gameplay settings, and then right down here where it says grapple assist, change that from assist to legacy. That will get you right back to UFC 3's grappling. So all that hard work you did learning how to use the grappling system, it just comes right back. Legacy is the way to go. So do that. And now we're getting right into the tutorial of the ground. All right, now that we're on the ground and we are in guard, how do you get it to the ground? You hold L2 and you hold triangle or square. You'll either do a single leg or a double leg, depending on which one you hold. That's how you get it to the ground. Now that we're in full guard, now let's take a look at some of the transitions and you know, a lot of it's the same. So a lot of you guys who have been memorizing these transitions, you know, it's the same. The, here's the key though. The gate speed is way different, okay? The gate speed, you know, some denials, you need to be so fast. It's really, really different. And they might change this, you know, after a couple patches. But as of right now, this is how we have it. So now that we're in guard, you know, postured up full guard, straight up, just like so. Um, when you posture up, you can deny that as the bottom guy. If you're Nate Diaz, all you do is hold R2, flick the analog stick up, you'll deny me, straight back down here. Now, on this game, UFC 4, if you do posture up, you can you will automatically get pulled back down. And if you're the bottom guy, you automatically pull them back down as long as you block or sway enough strikes. You build up the grappling advantage, it automatically pulls them down. Hopefully that changed that. I don't really like that. I like to have control of what I do and not being able to uh, pull someone down when I want to or not being able to stay postured up uh, kind of bugs me. But anyway, we're in guard here. We can go left or right. Now to do a fake transition in this game, used to be you just flick the analog stick left or right and you would, you could just flick it left and then immediately flick it right and you would fake left go right. In this game, you need to flick it one direction. So we're gonna flick it left and then hit the R2 button to cancel it. So you flick it left, R2 button. Flick it right, R2 button, okay? That is how you fake now. So if we wanna set up a fake, we will flick left, hit R2, go right immediately, okay? That's kinda how we do that. Now, put him back in full guard. Uh, all right, so here we are. We can go half guard left or right. How do you deny that? You see him going to the right. All you do is hold R2 and to the right and you will deny him. Um, if you see him going left, all you gotta do is hold R2 and press it to the left and you will deny him. Okay, so it's always hold and flick the right analog stick. I get that question all the time, guys. It's hold R2, flick the right stick. You don't hold the right stick. Just flick it in the direction that they are moving. Um, and there's here's... You know, I want to talk about rubber guard really quick. So we are now Nate Diaz. You'll see rubber guard. You see him turn his hips to the left. So if I'm GSP, I know to hold R2 and flick the right analog stick to the left. Because you can see him turning his hips to the left. So that's how you stop the rubber guard. But if you get it, lock it in real quick. Now that we're in the rubber guard, we have some options. We can go to top mount. Full guard, side control. Full guard is just going to put us right back into full guard. It's not even a transition. It just automatically does it, okay? So, what we're looking for here, as Nate Diaz, as Nate, we can go top mount, roll him over to top mount, not going to do that, or side control. We can roll him over into side control. There's two submissions we can get, the Gogo -go Plata or the Alma Plata. It's the same way if you want to fake those, you just flick it, hit R2, and it cancels out that transaction or that transition. <laughs> Thinking about money, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so as GSP in this position, we can go full guard left, full guard right, or stat guard. Stat guard will always be down. So you'll see my you'll see my whole body. See my whole body and my left hand start to move. It's actually my right hand, but as we're looking at it. It's our left hand is doing the work. So you're gonna flick R2 into the left to deny that as Diaz. Now, if GSP wants to go to the right, you'll see that he starts to pull his right hand out. It was so fast, he actually got it really easy. Um, 
Okay, you'll see. He goes to flick it to the right. See his right hand moving to press that. It's the hands. You're just watching the arms. If the left arm moves, R2 into the left. If the right arm moves, R2 into the right. You flick it, easy peasy. Uh, stat guard, much of the same. He's going to go to stand up. You see him going to stand on his feet. When you do that, you just hold R2, flick down, and you will stop them from standing up in stat guard. This position is nasty, guys. If you can learn this position, it is so nasty. To get stamina advantage and submissions, to roll them over into dominant positions, it's so nasty. So now we're going to pretend that we are GSP. If we're GSP, we need to get out of this. Oh, wait. There we go. We are. GSP, we need to get out of this. Uh, it's not too hard. You know, you can kind of um, fake a little. I don't really do much faking. I usually just pick a position and try to move as quick as possible. So, like, right off the bat, I'll go to full guard and see if we can get out just like that. Okay? So that's your goal. Stat guard is okay. You can be reversed, and it will automatically roll you into full mount bottom and you don't really want that so it's safer to go back to guard but now that we're in guard let's just look at these transitions that's r2 into the left easy so just remember that guys you see him going left hold r2 flick the right stick left boom denied it right uh in this position we have a couple options we can go side control just like that we can go half guard up which we all know what that looks like it's just like full guard it's going to pull them down automatically as long as you sway and block enough strikes okay so i'm not going to worry about that you deny it by hold r2 flick up you see their body pull up you'll deny it just like that okay so top mount you'll see this whole big thing right there see me go to top mount not too big uh it's all about directions so you guys trying to learn the ground game it just pay attention to the direction if all you are doing is holding R2 and flicking the right stick in the direction that they're moving, you will be successful. You really will. So you see him start to go to the right right there. That's all you do is hold R2, flick it to the right. That's the transition. If you see him going to side control, he'll try to pull that leg out and go left. You see his head go left, cross your body. Hold R2, flick it to the left. Boom. You're solid. Easy peasy, man. All right. So... Now, we will be the bottom guy. Bottom guy here, we have a couple options. They're either going to put their left hand on your knee and try to push you back to full guard. Boom, just like that. See that left hand move down? All you do is hold R2 and flick it to the left if you are GSP. Okay? Back sitting, you'll see him try to pull out to the right. It's easy. You don't pay attention to all the other... Don't pay attention to anything but how he's moving, which ways he's going. You know, that's all you're paying attention to. Okay? It's not that it's not that difficult, right? So full guard, if he's gonna try to push you or roll you over into full guard, it's hold R2 and flick it up. You see him lean up just like that, it's hold R2, flick it up, okay? That's if you are GSP and trying to hold them down. Uh, we do have an arm triangle, but here's the thing. Look at this. I'm going to top mount as GSP. Boom. Put my hand on your leg, I'm gonna push you to go to top mount. The same action denies the arm triangle. See that? I'm going to grab the arm. All you do is hold R2 and flick it to the right. Flick that right stick to the right. Boom. Easy. You're going to deny both of these transitions. So easy. It's so easy. It's, you know, four directions, guys. Just think about that. Left, down, right, up. That's all we're doing. That's all we are doing. All right. So let's go side control. Now that we're in side control, we can put our knee on the belly. That's a new transition. If you see them go to stand up, you see him put his hand on your belly. Not a whole lot of movement with this one. Hand on the belly. There you go. You see that? You hold R2, you flick the right stick up, and you will stop that from happening. We can go north-south. Not many players like to do that on you know ranked. It's not a very common thing, but they can. So if you see them start to do this number right here, kind of looks like they're going to go to side saddle, which is the same transition. I mean, it's the same look. So if they're going to go side saddle, it's going to look just like this. You can deny them both. All you got to do is hold R2, flick it to the left as Diaz. Uh, we can go top mount just like that. You see us going to top mount, put our hand. It looks like we're going to push off and go to the right. But you see the action Everything's happening on the right side of the grappling screen. Like if you're looking at the bodies, the right side of the screen's moving. 
That means R2 into the right. Left side of the screen is moving. R2 into the left. Boom, just like that, okay? I've said that a couple times. Hopefully you guys are following along with me. Everything's making sense. I hope so. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button real quick. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Really helps me out. I'm trying to hit that 10K, baby. Let's go. Ah, now that we've got that out of the way. As DS, we got a couple options. Push them back to half guard, sprawl, or push them up into half guard, okay? So I will act like I'm Diaz and you are GSP. So I'm gonna tell you how to deny these transitions. You see me, my body turn into you, R2 into the left. That's how we're trying to go to half guard, R2 into the left. You see my hand go on your face, R2 and up. See that? that you see that transition? You hold R2, press up on the right stick, you're good to go. If you see him try to roll away from you, just like that, all you're doing is holding R2 and flicking it to the right. You're going to stop all of these. You're going to be so nasty on the ground. I know you will. Uh, Diaz does have full guard, so um, that's a bigger transition. Not all fighters have it, uh, but you know BJJ guys do have it. So he has full guard. All you got to do is, you know, you see that leg come to swing just like this. You're going to hold R2 and flick it to the left. It's actually the same. You see their body, you know, it doesn't matter which one of these transitions they do. As long as you flick it to the left, you're going to stop that, okay? Pretty easy to stop that, by the way. Um, we're not going to go over sprawl. That's pretty easy. Don't need to do that. Uh, we'll go north-south real quick. Not a lot of people are going to be in this teabagging position, but, you know, if you will. You can get up automatically. All you got to do is hit the right stick up. We can go to side control left, side control right. Uh, and we can go for north-south choke. So north-south choke, you'll see him reach his hand in just like that. See that hand reach in? If you see that, hold R2, flick the right analog stick to the left if you are Diaz. Um, now, if you are Diaz, see he's not a wrestler, but say GSP was on bottom here. GSP would have the ability to roll into north-south top. That would be either R2 into the, excuse me, he would have the ability to roll into north-south on top if he was on bottom. Wrestlers have that ability. So all you do is you'll see your their body turn to the right or their body turn to the left. I might show you that in a little bit, but all you do is hold R2, flick it to the right, flick it to the left, you'll stop it. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to sprawl. I think, uh, actually, I don't want to do that yet. Go half guard bottom. Okay. Let's get back into side control because I wanted to go over a couple of things with you here. I wanted to go over crucifix. Uh, man, I work so many people in the crucifix on the ground. So, you see my hand just like that. Hang on, let me get out of this so, uh, so I can show that to you again a little bit slower. All right. So now we're in side control, and if GSP is trying to put me in the crucifix position, it's R2 and to the right. You see that? It's happening on the right side of the screen. If GSP was on the other side of Diaz, it'd be R2 and to the left. You're just doing it towards the action, guys. That's all you're doing. R2, flick the right stick towards the action. Okay? Boom. That's the transition you're looking for. Okay? We do have a Kimura. He'll reach across the body. If you see him reach across your body, grab your arm. Hold R2, flick it to the left, okay? It's kind of easy if you don't think about the actual move. Like, when I see this and I'm playing, I don't think, oh, he's going for a Komora. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but I also think action is going on to the left. I know it's R2 and to the left, okay? That's all you just got to have that mindset, all right? Let's go top mount. Top mount, they did add a different transition for the bottom. It's like this big shifting of the weight type thing. We can go side control, left, slide control, right. People don't do that on ranked. They're not going to get off mount. I mean, I don't think that's ever happened to me in the UFC 3, and I've fought 1,000 fights. So, anyways, back to top mount. Postured up. It's the same as all the other postured up positions. It will automatically pull him back down. All you got to do is sway or block enough strikes, okay? But if they go to stand up, excuse me, if they go to posture up, all you got to do is hold R2, and flick the right analog stick up, and that will stop them from posturing up into full mount. As the guy on the bottom. So we're on the bottom here. We are Diaz. You are GSP. So how do you stop me from getting out of mount? You want to hold me here. It's a good position for you. 
If you see me going half guard left, you see my whole, everything shifts to the left. You see that? I mean, GSP goes way over to the left. Hold R2, flick it to the left, and you will stop that. Diaz will not be able to get you off of him. If he goes to the right, everything goes to the right. I mean, that's a huge window. <laughs> I mean, you can see it from a mile away. It's different, so it's gonna, and it's really fast. It's pretty fast. <sighs> All right, sorry, I'm running through this as quick as possible. I don't like these tutorials to be super long for you guys. So, I have been talking fast. Appreciate it for those who are with me and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If he wants to get up, if Diaz wants to get up, it's hold R2 and up because he's trying to push you up. You see GSP's body go up. But take a look at the top right corner of the screen. Look how slow that is, man. It's a slow one. So it's a, it's a risky one. Don't do it unless you have a stamina advantage or a grappling advantage. It's better just to go to half guard, okay? Because that's a very slow one, all right? So be careful with that. We did crucifix. Let's go back to side control here. Slow transition. Uh, we did north-south. Trying to think about what we got to do. Uh, let's go ahead and go... Um, yeah, let's go crucifix. And I want to show you guys crucifix position. I don't think I did that one. I don't want... You know, got to remember. So... In crucifix, people can go north, south, or side control. No one's giving up crucifix if they get this position. They're going to hold you here. So I'm not going to show you those. It, it's just pointless. It's like a free pass. Don't worry about it. Not going to happen. As Diaz, we can go side saddle left or side saddle right. That's our two options, okay? If you, we want to go to the right, you see the everything shifts to the right. GSP's weight moves to the right. When you see that, you hold R2 and flick it to the right, and you will stop Diaz from getting up. If you see him turn into you, turn into you just like that. You hold R2, flick it to the left, boom. You're going to stop him. You're going to hold this crucifix position and just make it a big time, you know, impact moment. If you get crucifix, land some good elbows, really does work to their head health. So as GSP, um, we can go into side saddle and we can get up. He doesn't have a submission here. There is an Americana. Um, submission and I think there was one more the Americana he'll extend Diaz's right arm but it, it's the same thing guys it's like the same thing if you see something happening to the right you just hold R2 and flick it to the right and boom you know you'll deny that so one more time Diaz is trying to get up he goes right hold R2 and flick it to the right if he wants to turn left he'll turn his whole body into you and you hold R2 flick the right stick to the left now let's go side saddle bam now that we've gotten back to side saddle we can go side control or back side if we're gonna go side control it's the same thing gonna turn into you just like the other transition turning into you hold R2 flip the right stick to the left all right if he wants to go back side he's gonna roll away there you go see him rolling away to the right hold R2 flip the right stick to the right now as GSP, we can go north-south or side control. Eh, we're just going to keep this position. I don't see hardly anybody give up this position. It's a good dominant position to hold. We can go for an arm triangle. So I'm going to show you the arm triangle in this position. You see him shift his weight. He brings that right arm up. It's actually his left, I know. But his, the right arm you see grabs Diaz's. As soon as you see that, you need to hold the right analog stick and flick the right stick. Sorry, you need to hold the R2 button and flick the right stick to the right. Boom. So just like that. You see this animation? You know he's going to go for an arm triangle. He's grabbing your arm. He's trying to lock it in. All right? So hold R2. Flick the right stick to the right. Uh, let's go as Diaz now. We'll go back side. Back side's a little different. Um, see how they hold their hand? It's, it's actually not... A different position it's just the way that it looks is a little different okay so we can go to full guard just like the old game we're gonna try to turn into you you see that body turn into you you hold R2 you flick the right stick to the right or left sorry and you will stop that if he's gonna roll to side control which is a faster transition but because you're giving up this position for you know, not as safe. Full guard is really safe to be in. Side control, not as much. So the window is a lot harder to deny. 
But if you are GSP and you see Diaz go to roll to the right, all you do is hold R2 to the right. If you see him go to stand up, puts both hands on the ground, he goes to stand up, that's hold R2 and flick the right stick up. Okay? Now as GSP, we can go sprawl, which would be just like this. You see him turn to go to sprawl. If you want to deny that as Diaz, you hold R2 into the left to stop him from going to sprawl position. If he wants to go to back mount, you see GSP kind of stand up and he's going to swing his leg across your back to try to go to back mount. If you see that happening, all you do is hold R2, flick the right stick to the right and you will stop that. Okay, you'll hold this position. Don't give up your back, okay? Uh, he might have a bulldog choke. He does. So this used to be R and down. Now it's R and up. So if you see him going for the bulldog choke, he kind of grabs your head, and you need to quickly press R2, flick the right stick up. It's a slow transition, but, you know, by the time you see this, you're like, oh, boy, you know, you need to be quick on that one. So you see him go for your head, hold R2, flick the right stick up. Uh... Let's go ahead and hit sprawl, and then we'll be back mount in the sprawl position. This is a turd position. Uh, pro tip for you here, guys. You stand up. I'm going to choke you out with the Panda Express. All right? It's going to happen. So be careful standing straight up as DS. You'll see my options. Get up left, get up right, get up straight up in the air, and half guard. Okay? Those are our options. Now, <sighs> this position. Okay, people are going to sit here. And they're going to do this. They're going to punch you in the stomach over and over and over. While they're doing this, okay, while they're punching you in the stomach, you cannot get up to the direction that you are getting punched from. So if GSP is throwing this right here, Diaz cannot get up to the left. He has to go to the right. So you know... If GSP is on top, if you're GSP, that your opponent can only go up or to the right. That's his only two options. Because you're punching him like, just like this, tapping it every second. He can't go left. Can't. Can't do it. So, pay attention to that. So, if you're on the bottom, just know that you can't go to the direction that the hand is punching you. Alright? So... We are on the bottom. Say you are GSP. You're trying to hold Diaz in this position. You see him go to the right. You hold R2, flick the right stick to the right. You see him go left, hold R2. This is a really easy position to hold, man. So easy. Um, at most of the times, I will let the guy just punch me in the stomach until the ref stands me up. Because I don't want to waste the stamina of getting denied, getting denied, getting punched in the stomach. No, not happening. So, yeah. If he goes to get up straight, straight up in the air, you see him stand up straight. That's hold R2, flick the right stick up. Just like that. So, he can go left, right, or up. I mean, it's pretty easy tail. Nothing too crazy. If he goes to half guard, he's going to grab your leg. You see him grab your leg. That's such a fast transition. Wow, that's crazy. Um, let's go... Side control, let's get us back into the back position. Sprawl, there we go. So, half guard, really, really fast. You see him grab your leg, just like that. Hold R2, flick the right stick down. You're going to deny that every time as GSP. So, here we are. GSP, you can go backside right, backside left, or sprawl position. Well, that's an interesting thing. Hold on, what does this do? That's, that's just weird. That's a new thing. Uh, so we're in this position, and we can go to sprawl, which is the exact same position. <laughs> so I, I don't know what, why you would do that. But anyways, maybe to fake a choke or something, because it's the same as a guillotine. See the guillotine? He goes to reach in by the neck, and now look at sprawl. It's the exact same thing. Anyways, so we can go left. So if you're Diaz, and you're trying to stop me, GSP, from going left, You'll see my whole weight shift to the left. Looks like I'm going to your left. Hold R2, flick the right stick to the left. To the right, you see the body go to the right. And if he's going to go sprawl, reaches his hand down by your neck. Most times, they're going to be going for a guillotine. So just know, if he reaches his hand down, you just hold R2, flick the right stick down. And you'll stop them from choking you out. Uh, we went over this, so let's go backside, and then backside. We've already done backside, so let's go back mount. 
now in the back mount. We can go back side left, get off and go to the left, but once you're here in this position, you really don't have to worry about people getting off of you. I mean, and if they do, it's such a fast transition, it's gonna be really hard for you to deny. The main thing you're focused on as Diaz is back flat and then chokes. But good news, back flat and chokes are the same denial window. Um, you see right here we have rear naked choke down and we have back flat down. So look, we reach in for your neck. Looks like we're gonna go for a choke. I'll show you rear naked choke. You know, not the exact same, but you know, both of them are reaching down towards the head. So that's how you know as Diaz, you need to hold the R2 button and flick the right stick down. If you see that happening, he's trying to flatten you out. Hold the right stick, flick the, hold the R2 button and flick the right stick down. Uh, we can go for an arm bar on the left side or we can go for an arm bar on the right side. Uh, not all fighters can do this. This is a special GSP thing or a Damian Maya can, I think. Uh, there's select few, but you need to know if he's on your back in this position, he's got three options to tap you out, okay? He can either flatten you down or he can go left, right, or down. So pay attention. You see him reach to the left. You know it's hold R2 and flick the right stick to the left. You see him reach to the right, just like that. It's hold R2, flick the right stick to the right. Last time for rear naked choke, he's gonna reach down by your face. Hold R2, flick the right stick down, and you're good to go. You're gravy. Not gonna do get up, because you can get up pretty easy. Uh, we can go top mount here or half guard. Uh, if you're in this position and you want an advanced transition, you just hold L1 and that will pull up all advanced transitions. You can go half guard or top mount, okay? So top mount is, it's just a give me. You're giving them such a dominant position. You really, there's no window there. So let's go side control. Let's get back where we need to be. There we go. Back mount, there we go. All right, so we are here now, and we already went over this. As Diaz, you're either going to give up top mount or you're going to give up half guard. This one's a little slower. See him reaching down for the leg with his left hand. It's hold R2 and flick the right stick to the left GSP. If you see him reaching with that right hand, it's flick the stick to the right, baby. Easy work, all right? So just pay attention to the directions, and you can hold this back position for a while. Uh, top mount. There's no window. It's just automatically you give them top mount, okay? So, now you know. There's no window for that. You can't deny it. If he's giving you top mount, he's giving you top mount. Uh, let's go back to where we were. Um, just so we can go back flat and kind of show you in this position where we're going from here. Back flat. Now that they got you flattened out, you're on the bottom. We can posture up, which is the same as every other postured up position. Deny enough, sway enough, he'll go back down, okay? Pretty simple, I think. Uh, we don't have any other arm, like submissions. We can't do an arm bar from this position. We can only do the rear naked choke, which looks the same as it did before. Reaching that hand in by the, by the neck, you know he's going for the rear naked choke, okay? That's how you know. Now, as Diaz in this position, so you're GSP, I'm Diaz. Here's my options. Top mount, top mount, back mount. Okay? Automatic. It's automatic, guys. If you give up top mount, it is going to let you have it. Because you are giving them mount position. So it's like, okay. Oh, crap. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get another takedown. Get back where we need to be. Half guard, side control, switch to Diaz, let's go sprawl, back to GSP, back side, back mount, back flat, boom. All right, now, we are here. Rear naked choke, got it, we already did that one. You can roll into top mount or you can go back mount. So if he goes left or right GSP, you are GSP, remember. It's gonna give it to them. It's automatically gonna give them that. They don't have to work for that, okay? They go for half guard, they do. See him try to roll to the right, just, or excuse me, see him roll his body towards the left. You see that, you hold R2 and flick the right stick to the left. You see him roll towards the right. You know, see his back, his back is turning to the right. 
That's how you know. Hold R2 and flick the right stick to the right as GSP, and you will stop that. You will hold this position. All right? If you want to go to back mount, which I don't suggest, I just say go to top mount, try to get it back to half guard. You can go R and up. You'll see them start to shift you up. As soon as you see GSP go up, you should know, hey, this dude's trying to go back to back mount, so I should hold R2 and flick the right stick up. That's how you stop that. Easy, man. You got it, guys. All right? Uh, let's, uh, let's be GSP. Let's get up. It's a free thing. And let's try, I think that's it. I mean, we got stat guard we can do. Um, that might be another video. That's, that's about it, guys. That's your ground transitions. Watch it. Rewind it. Watch it again. Pause it. Come back to it. Save it to your watch later list so you can always come back to it but just memorize those transitions and you guys will be perfectly fine on the ground a lot of people will still comment on my ufc 3 tutorial that the ground game sucks that's why they quit playing the game just learn it guys just watch it repeat it watch it hopefully this video has helped you if it did please leave a like leave a comment let me know what you thought hopefully i know you learned a little something new hopefully you did uh, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Panda Nation, we're growing. We're trying to hit that 10K before Christmas. So thank you guys for all the new subscribers out there. And that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully I'll see you at the next tutorial. Not for sure which one it's going to be yet. Their tutorials are flying out from everybody on YouTube. And, you know, I'm just trying to learn the game and then give you guys the best information that you can have to win. Okay? Legitimately win. No cheese ball stuff here, all right? Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching.